So let's get it smacking. So after rinsing off your butter ball or turkey, man, you want to get rid of all the moisture by soaking it up in a shirt. And you want your turkey to be big enough to sit a red cup on it, man. Turkey big enough to shit. Man, I'm just gonna leave that slurricane in that Bacardi that fell in there. This is gonna add more flavor in the whole whoop whoop anyway. So you see how I buttered up the turkey, right? And right about now, we about to add some seasoning. How much? Man, we about to add a hella. I mean, look at that. Yee! Oh boy. Now we're gonna pour some of my E40 beer all over it. Man, this bird is about to be sideways, do it about a buck 50. So set your oven to 340, and we're gonna bake it for like five hours. So set your timer, timer. Well, uh, look at that, man. Came out real good, real tender and juicy, man. Hey, enjoy it, family. Hey guys, how was Thanksgiving? Hey, does your family want some? Puto. What did you say to me? Uh... Oh man, what's up y'all, it's Boy King Churro. It is, uh, what is today? Today's Friday, Black Friday actually. Uh, November 25th, 2022. Just getting off work right now, walking in my car. <sighs> it's currently about 10.15 at night, or uh, 22.15. For those of you who do military time, moved over to the retail side, so now I'm get, getting more hours. I've seen a couple people today from the food and beverage side, and they're like, Hey, Uncle Ray, what's up, man? Where you been at? I'm in uh, retail now. So let me turn on my, my Bluetooth. I could play some Pandora on the way home. Uh, my boy Moreno hit me up. He said, what you doing, Theo? I was like, uh, I'm over here at work, man. Working the clothes. He's like, what? It's popping at the zoo right now? I'm like, yeah, man, wild lights. From six to nine. It was sold out tonight, guys. Sold out tonight. And some lady came in and she was like, I called guest services and they said that I can come and da, da, da. we got six people, we got two cars, we drove all the way here. I was like, why are you coming to the retail store, the gift shop, to complain to the people at the gift shop? Why don't you go to guest services? It's right across the way. You know, that's what people do. What in the world is that? I think I just saw the Bobcat. There's a bobcat that rolls, roams around the parking lot, guys. Long story short, I don't know if she even was able to come in, uh, or go to the Wild Lights, the event. I mean, all over the place, all over the street, around the zoo, 
there's uh, construction signs that say wild lights, special event, sold out. I don't, I don't, I don't understand what people, what people expect. You know, why do they expect to just come right in? It's sold out. Like, what are you gonna do? But on the other hand, it's a zoo. It's a zoo. I mean, I don't, I, what I don't understand is why it's sold out. Right? It's still a park. Uh, I, I, I feel, I feel like saying or stating that the event is sold out, it's to create an urgency that next time you should go ahead and get these tickets on this day and blah, 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 blah. And I'm exhausted. Here's a preview of what Wild Lights is like, though. Christmas Eve. The Living Desert Wild Lights. 2022. Birds cold out here. <laughs> And I don't see any Toros in the atmosphere. Here we go. Oh, almost fell. If you ever have an opportunity to go to the wild lights at the Living Desert here in Palm Desert, when it's not sold out, and you smoke weed, trust me, you'd want to do that first.